Hello Crested Kids, how are you? My name is Miss Vicky. I'm here to tell you a story. First, let's drum together. Have you got something you can bang and follow our rhythm or clap along? Come on, get your brother to clap along. There you go. My story today is about a majestic creature. The animal that is sometimes considered the king of all animals. Who do you think that is? Oh yes, you got it. It's a lion. Have you ever seen a lion? They live in Uganda in places like Queen Elizabeth, Maxion Falls and Kidepo National Park. Do you know? A lion has four strong legs, a huge paw with razor sharp claws. Can you stretch out your hands to be claws? Yes, that's right. They have a swishy tail to help them balance. Did you know? There is a special place in Uganda called Ishasha where lions use their tails to help them balance on fig trees. Lions are a member of the cat family. They have super eyesight, long whiskers and very, very sharp razor blade teeth. So, they can catch their prey. The male lions have a big and beautiful mane. Most majestic thing about a lion is their loud roar. Can you roar loudly like a lion? I can't hear you. Oh, that's better. Now that we are pretending to be a lion, let's Find out what happens in our story. Let me tell you the story about the lion and the mouse. Once in a fresh green field, there was a mischievous mouse. A mischievous mouse? What does that mean? Let's keep reading and see if you can figure out what it means. One day, the mischievous mouse was in the fields looking for some yummy fruit. She ran around twitching her whiskers just like this. When suddenly she stumbled across a lion, silently sleeping and sheltering from the hot midday sun. Shh! You don't wake sleeping lions. So this mischievous mouse was the most mischievous mouse you had ever seen. You won't believe it, but she wasn't afraid of anything, not even the sleeping lion. So our mischievous mouse, being so mischievous, decided to creep up on the lion's tail and hop and skip across the lion's back, running up and down on the lion, playing games and giggling on her mischievous self. Have you worked out what mischievous means? Yes, that's right. It means you can cause trouble in a playful way. That's exactly what this mischievous mouse was doing. When the mouse first found the lion, he was snoring deeply. Can we all snore like a lion? Yes, that sounds right. But the mischievous mouse, hopping and skipping about, tickled lion. Oh no, our sleeping lion started to wake up. What's that tickling? He thought, and quick as a flash, he placed its huge paw upon the mouse almost squashing her. 
Wow! The mouse was cross. He opened his big, wide, majestic jaws as he had decided to swallow up the annoying mouse in one big gulp. As he began to move his mouth towards the mischievous mouse, the mischievous mouse cried out, No! Forgive me! Forgive me! I shall never forget it. And who knows? But maybe I can do you a favor one of these days. Squeak, squeak. The mischievous mouse twitched her whiskers nervously. The lion literally roared with laughter. <laughs> you can never help me, said lion. But I suppose because you are so small and feeble, I will let you go. You are hardly worthy of eating anyway, and I'm quite full. After the delicious zebra I had for my breakfast, and the mischievous mouse ran free. Why do you think the lion laughed at the idea of the mouse being able to help him? Do you think the mouse will be able to help lion? So many months passed. The lion carried on being king of the national park. He roared. Can we roar? Roar! He lay in the sun and he groomed his beautiful mane. Then a terrible thing happened. He got caught in a trap set out by poachers. The hunters had caught the beautiful lion and wanted to carry it alive to sell in a zoo. They tied the lion to a tree while they looked for a cat to carry it on. The big brave lion got scared. He didn't know what to do. He knew he was in trouble. Just then, guess who? The little mischievous mouse happened to run past like this, looking and sniffing around for food. Children, can you guess what the mouse will do? The mischievous mouse saw the lion all frightened and bound up in the net. The mischievous mouse knew exactly what he needed to do. Help that lion. She snuck up to the lion's ear and said, Remember me? You were so kind to me all that time ago. I know exactly how I can help you. Little mouse soon ate away the rope that bound the lion up. The lion couldn't believe what was happening. He ran free as fast as he could. The little mouse had given him his freedom back. Even though friends are little, they can still be very important. So let's think back at the story and see if we can answer some questions. Did you learn any new words? What about the word mischievous? Do you remember what it means? Yes, it means being playful, naughty, and cheeky. At the end of the story, the mouse says, even though friends are little, they can still be important. What do you think this means? Well, children, the little mouse was mischievous at first, but she kept her promise and when the lion least expected it, she could use her size to help out. So remember, it's not your size that makes you important, but it's how you use opportunities to help and support others. Thank you for joining me, Miss Vicky, for story time today. I think we can all agree 
It's been a lot of fun. Listen carefully. Next week, I'm going to ask you to help us tell a story. I need to collect all your story ideas. So I think we will have a story next week about a mouse and a cat. Tell me all your ideas for a story about a mouse and a cat and put them on our Facebook page. I'm going to be a story catcher and catch your ideas. So remember, write me a story about a mouse and a cat this time. Say goodbye until our next story. But as I do that, let's take a minute to stretch out our lion paws and roar a loud roar as we think upon how clever and wise we are becoming like the character in our story.